Hello again, welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. I've got a, a quite a big job on today, well it's quite a heavy job. Uh, customers got two of these things uh, that they want me to uh, true up on the lathe. Um, they I, th I think they've cut them out of a big fan or something and they're going to rebuild the fan. So this is the main spindle part that's got to go in. So these bits, if they've cut these off obviously with an angle grinder and they want me to true this up so it's nice and round uh, at 80 millimeter. Okay, so we'll get on and do this and see how this job progresses. So here you see I'm, I'm turning down the outside diameter. I've got to turn it fairly slowly and, or machine it fairly slowly, basically because it's so uneven that uh, the banging and rattling around on the, on the lathe will either knock out the bearings in the headstock on the lathe, which I certainly don't want to do, or it could quite possibly break the tip on the, on the lathe tool itself, um, which would not be very economical because I'd probably end up keep breaking them, keep replacing them, and that's no good. So here, once again, I'm turning down the outside. Obviously, again, I've had to keep it running fairly slowly, but I've speeded the video up quite considerably, uh, basically just so that you don't get too bored while you're watching it. Um, and I'll, I'm running this through. It's uh, it's coming off quite nicely. I'm, I, it's hard work, basically, because uh, where, the, where, where this thing's been welded, uh, the welding obviously has, has formed quite a hard crust uh, on, the, on the steel itself. The steel itself is nice and easy to turn, but uh, obviously the welding is not. Um, it's, I don't know really what causes I suppose the uh, high car carbon content in the welding rods or the welding wire, whatever way it's been done. But um, obviously it, uh, it's quite detrimental to the tool if I try and turn it too fast. Uh, not only the tool, but obviously as I stated earlier, I don't really want to be banging the, the bearings on the machine too much. Uh, it's not going to do them any good at all, and it's not uh, not going to do my machine any good either. But uh, although the, the Colchester is a pretty good machine, it's pretty tough, so it's well made, and obviously it's, it's pretty resilient to a lot of un uneven work. But um, I don't want to encourage it to wear. It's, it's not uh, it's not the youngest of lathes nowadays. It's probably about. Uh, probably about 50 years old now, but it's still uh, almost as good as it was when it was new. Well, here we are. This is the final cut, uh, just to finish off this piece. Um, once again, it's, it's pretty much the same procedure as I've been doing. Um, I've speeded the lathe up slightly, um, and obviously in there, but I've slowed the speed down a little so I'll get a little bit better finish so, because I want this to be exactly 80 millimeters diameter so uh, yeah, it's coming on quite nicely now um, it'll look quite a lot smoother than it was before but uh, it's still not very good again once again I've, I've speeded up the video just uh, to so that it doesn't get too boring watching it and it just runs the time through a little bit quicker so um, but they, they're coming on quite nicely. This is the second one. The first one went through okay eventually. I'm just finishing off the last one, the second one, so that uh, you can see what's involved in it. So, uh, yeah, that's um, not too bad at all. It's, it hasn't damaged the lathe too much, at least I, I hope not. Um, but uh, it seems to have come up quite nicely in the end. One of them's cleaned up better than the other. So here we see the finished item. Not pretty, but finished. Well, there we are, there they are. Um, pretty horrible job in the end, basically, because the, where they'd been welded before, the welding was actually quite tough, quite hard to machine. And being sort of bits and pieces like that, it was a lot of trembling and banging about on the lathe. So I just hope it hasn't knocked out the bearings in the lathe, but it shouldn't have done. Uh, the Colchester is a pretty tough old machine anyway. So anyway, I'll get these sorted out and taken off and delivered to the, to the client. Okay, so look out for more videos in the future. And if you haven't already done so, uh, please subscribe to my, my channel. And uh, obviously look back in the past at some very interesting videos in the past. 
Okay, but in the meantime, I'll bid you farewell. Goodbye.